So I need to explain something when it comes to the nursing profession and why I say the things that I do, because I don't just say it out of some, um, you know, I'm pissed off because I wasn't treated right. It's it, it, it This ultimately falls on the heels that um, if these things are allowed to continue, it explains why everything that has that everybody thinks is a conspiracy theory about what's going on with children um, is allowed to continue is because all the agencies that are supposed to be oversight, whether it's over um, justice or nursing, aren't oversighting anything. They're just corrupt people. I said yesterday <laughs> that the, the nursing educator that had changed the Pixis count on a narcotic, she was in the med room. And first of all, there's no reason an, a nurse educator needs is would be in the Pixis at all, quite frankly. There, there's no reason for it. They're an educator. They, I mean, unless they're with a group of nurses that they're orienting, but she was alone. But there's a little bit more. She's the same nurse that at the job I was at, that abuse that where the chief nursing officer emotionally abused a 16 year 15 year old boy. She was under that chief nursing officer, the same woman. In fact, that same woman. Um, the beginning of all of that, prior to them emotionally abusing that boy, they brought me into the office. This would be your assistant chief nurse officer. And she looked me in the eyes and she, she would come off to you like she's the sweetest nurse. I mean, she had me fooled. She did. She's good. And I, and I would, she's a total psychopath. She was able to look me dead in the eyes and imply something that she knew wasn't true. And again, this was because I was on a bargaining team. They wanted to get me to quit. They wanted to make an example of me. This is how shitty the hospital systems are. She was the same one that when, you know, a few years later, I started a new job. She was the educator. So, you know, that was like, oh, great. How can they? Because she just garbage. She's a garbage person. She knew, she knew who I was. She, she knew that this is not, that, that everything she was saying to me, which you have somebody basically implying, making these accusations at you. And you're like, this is so, I mean, you can get what they were. I mean, the very things that the people that do things to children, that that's what they were trying to put on me, that I was grooming because I was helping a kid understand the 12 steps. And the, this is the very system that's been doing this to children. So she was an assist, the, the, the assistant to the chief nurse, nursing officer. And they could never make the case because none of it was true. It was designed to get me to quit. Because they were not happy about a union or they, I don't know what they wanted to do. And then I did, I because nobody's going to make accusations like that at me. And I'm, I mean, that's, so I, I quit. And then the union, Illinois Nurses Association, wanted me to rescind the resignation. So I did. They said, we'll fight it. And then I had a lawyer that basically was uh, mute, did nothing. So they just wanted to drag me through the mud. Because once you fight this is, you know, you people in the public wonder why nurses don't speak up They're, and they should, they should, but it is, it, it's, it's rather taxing to do because what happens is if you fight back on something that any hospital is accusing you of, if you push back on it and you say, no, I'm, I'm, I'm not going to resign or I'm, you do any of that, then it becomes an investigation. And so they're going to do what they can to make the case. Well, in this situation, they couldn't make the case. But that was the reason they dragged the 15-year-old, 16-year-old kid into the chief nursing office, office's office. And she um, was trying to manipulate a 16-year-old boy so they could try, after the fact, after accusing me, to try to get me on something. 
So they couldn't, okay? Because I, there was too many people that saw what they did to this kid. So then I had to sit through that uh, hospital's lawyer, who was a piece of garbage too, so many pieces of garbage, while the Illinois Nurses Association lawyer sat there mute. Like, I don't even know if he does, t if he talks at all. Never once counteracting anything that this, this jagoff was saying. Sorry, but that's what he is. And this lawyer was married to a nurse. I don't know who she is, but she didn't work there. I'm just saying. And yet he knew it wasn't true. They all knew that all of these things they were saying were not true. So to sit there in this pool of lies. And then what happens is if they investigate, then they have to report it to the nursing board. So then a year later, I get a letter that I have to go before the nursing board. Worst thing you ever want to do, because it's the one courtroom where you're going to go in guilty and you're going to leave guilty, even if everybody's found you innocent, because you'll just be whipped around. And that's what happened. And what they sent me to the nursing board for was documentation. I didn't document properly. Because they tried to get the kid to, 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 you know, tried to manipulate him. That didn't work. They tried to scare me to just quit. Then I fight back. And, and at every turn, this was just a complete, um, it, 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 I didn't have the money for it. I had to get a lawyer. I mean, I got a lawyer. Um, but this was never addressing what the true problem was. That a chief nursing officer and the assistant below her was who was the same nurse that changed the PIXIS count at another job I worked at were manipulating a situation to go after me. Ultimately, because I was on a bargaining team. So talk about, talk about bad luck, right? I've had people say, you just have, you, bad luck follows you, Bethany. No, I don't think that that's what it is. I think that, um, I, I, th I think there's evil people in the world. I do. I think there's a lot of people that have some evil tendencies and I, I've seen them, unfortunately, in nursing. Um, I take no joy in saying that, but those evil people will go after people that are being honest. And, and you would believe those, those people, you would believe those evil people because they are so good at convincing you. The problem is, is that in this case, um, they traumatized this boy by doing this. I mean, this kid had already been through enough. Okay. And then this happens to him, um, you know, basically, you know, just showing this kid like they do all these kids in this system, that there's nobody you can trust. I mean, when the kid goes back to the unit and he's tearing the t ceiling tire tiles out of the ceiling and he's tearing the unit apart, and luckily there's a gr good staff there that, that talk, talked him down and all that. That's trauma that's been done. Please understand that. That's somebody who traumatized a child. Unnecessarily. Trying to to uh, to uh, uh, trick like uh, manipulate his words. He didn't put it quite like that. I'd have to look at it. He said, "Twist my words." Trying to twist my words to try to make it seem like I did something wrong. And yet there was no justice at all. None. Just dragging me through the mud, and at no time addressing what these people did to this boy. So that's, that's what, that's what just really goes right through me because that goes all the way up to the top of the nursing profession then, because something's wrong up there. That means something's wrong at National Nurses United. Something's wrong at the American Nurses Association and the credentialing board, because everything they all are on board with is why things like what happened that I just explained would be allowed to go on is because the leadership puts in. Nothing but depraved nurse leaders.